Oleksandra Zinchenko is back for the Arsenal game that they are going to host Southampton on Friday at the Emirates. Welcome to Rockan Media Football. How are you guys? I know you're watching us from my go by the names of Rockan David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. There is an order guard update coming in from Perez, another invisible, and even today, one of the invisibles that was really one of the best defenders I've seen in the Arsenal jersey has gone ahead and visited the players of Arsenal and Connolly, and I'm going to go ahead and really tell you why they've gone ahead to call in a player known as Sol Campbell to pay a visit to the players of Arsenal and Connolly, and photos have been taken, and I'm going to really give you my own verdict as to why I think they've gone ahead to call him in to see to it that he really does the needful with the team of <clears throat> Arsenal. So, fourth video of the day, I think we've had a marathon of four stories now, and I think we might not do the fifth story. Let this story close the day, and tomorrow morning, <clears throat> you know what starts our day. It's going to be Arsenal versus Arsenal versus Southampton. Match preview. Bring the predictors at 11, the stats, the chances, my predictions, and so on and so forth. So, <clears throat> it's really a good day. And where I am, it's a Thursday, meaning that we are having what we call a press conference. Also coming in from Michaela Tater as far as <clears throat> the game of Southampton is concerned. And we're going to be so much eager to know the update of William Saliba and the plan of Michaela Tater. And even, I think if at all... I'm a very, <clears throat> I'm a journalist that plays that pays a lot of attention to detail. I would have been so much interested to know why Sol Campbell paid a visit to <clears throat> Arsenal players. Now, earlier today, Delmere reported that <clears throat> Zinchenko looks set to return against Southampton, with newspaper claiming the Gunners are optimistic over his chances to future. Zichenko was spotted pitch side before the game at the London Stadium as well as in the stands cheering on his side during the game. <clears throat> now, Ateta said the following when Zichenko missed out on the starting 11 of a team when Zichenko missed out on the starting 11 of a team known as of a team <clears throat> known as West Ham on Sunday. He said he had a muscular issue at the end of the match at Anfield last week and he struggled in the last minutes. We assessed him and he wasn't fit enough to play and <clears throat> that's why we have good players like Kylian Tierney to replace him. But today, <clears throat> all that is over. All that is over. Zinchenko has been spotted into the training session of Arsenal at London Conley ahead of the game of Southampton and that is him. That is how Zinchenko really looked today in training at Lan Conley as far as the game of Southampton is concerned. Now, one will say that <clears throat> Zinchenko was the reason as to why Arsenal considered the second goal against Liverpool. But <clears throat> when he was out, again, Arsenal went ahead to concede two goals against West Ham. So that means it's <clears throat> a team issue to solve. It's not an individual issue to solve. But having Zinchenko back is really important. Why? However, much Kian Tierney comes in and really gives us lots of options, <clears throat> you know, going forward. But <clears throat> Zinchenko has gone ahead to elevate, elevate that left back position of Arsenal. The way he plays it is really out of this world because to me, he's the most technical left back in the league. <laughs> Not even in the league, I think in the world, because he does lots of things on the ball <clears throat> that people don't even pay attention to. This boy is talented, 26 years of age, but Zinchenko looks like he's. <clears throat> just not yet hit his prime leading by example i think it affected us in the game of west ham if you're having zinchenko i think on the pitch not on the side pitch because on the side pitch if you're having zinchenko it helps you really push further when jesus is taken out another leader of the pitch so him returning <clears throat> guarantees him a start in the game of southampton and we've seen michael ateta he's one of those managers going ahead not to change his starting 11. That's why I think he's predictable and these teams will always know how to go ahead and really hurt him because his team is predictable. And right now when he's playing one game per, one game per week, <clears throat> looks like he's not going to change because even, even when he was playing close to those games, like two games a week, he used not to change his Premier League side. It shows you that 
he is <clears throat> really an open book to read but uh being an open book to read and you've gone ahead to challenge other teams and obviously costed them points it shows you how good this team of Mikel Arteta is <clears throat> Zinchenko in particular <clears throat> gives you vibes of Arsenal having more possession you know providing more option threats <laughs> because he adds a lot to the final third <clears throat> Not the attacking prowess of Arsenal. He's another threatening. <clears throat> he's another threat that Arsenal do have, or threatening option they have that comes way deep from the left back position and obviously <clears throat> puts up, puts up a case in the final third of the opponent. And you never know. Sometimes he can even score because he's unpredictable. Sometimes he pulls the trigger. Sometimes he goes in for cross. Sometimes he just holds up play <clears throat> and really attracts players towards him. And obviously doing the magic that Zechenko does. So I think it's a very huge injury boost for Arsenal. Zichenko to return for the game of <coughs> Southampton. And if I told you Mikel Teta, you wouldn't like Zichenko to come in th to come in through to plug in a city before him getting some minutes in the game of Southampton. All I know is that in the game of Southampton, if I told him, um, if I told him Ateta, I give him like <coughs> 55 minutes <laughs> enough for him then i bring in kntn to play all else i start kntn he plays like 50 minutes or 60 then i get in zinchenko to get the job done you know to get those minutes in his legs to get ready for the game of man city because after arsenal playing on friday they'll be getting ready for the game of man city on wednesday <laughs> that is it next wednesday that's when arsenal is playing man city away at etihad another big game that has been described as a finale for <clears throat> the premier league trophy by the man city players and manager pep Guardiola. man city has today drawn away <clears throat> at Bayern munich 1-1 Haaland missing a penalty, but <clears throat> we are going to see how far has the Champions League stretched Man City to either continue winning or not continue winning as expected here onto this channel. So that is all about Alexander Zinchenko and he is all smiles and he has gone ahead to really give <clears throat> the players of Arsenal lots of hopes that his return obviously gives them vibes that are concerned with winning and killing off the games as they want. Now, there is an invisible that has gone ahead to really visit what we call London Conley. <clears throat> that is Saul Campbell. If you are old enough as me and you are watching Arsenal or until I think 2006, <clears throat> 2007, you know Saul Campbell. He was a very good player, one of the best defenders that Arsenal has ever really raised. Remember, shockingly, he came <clears throat> In from Tottenham Hotspur and signed for Arsenal. He was a free agent and after telling Spurs that he's not going to Arsenal, the next morning the press conference, he joins Arsene Wenger and Arsene Wenger unveils him as a player of Arsenal. That is one of the biggest betrayals that Spurs fans have ever seen because Spurs and Arsenal don't see eye to eye. They are really, they are really, <coughs> They are really blood enemies. They are really blood enemies. And that's why the Truth and Derby is one of the biggest rivalries in <coughs> world football as far as that beautiful game of football is concerned. So today, Saul Campbell came in through and offered a visit to Arsenal. He not only <coughs> talked to Mikel Ateta, but he talked to the players of Arsenal. As you see, that, that is Bokayo Saka. Now, one will ask, why is it Saul Campbell? One, <coughs> Saul Campbell is one of those that I think Edward's going to hate to notice that he can really come in through and obviously motivate these players. You know? <clears throat> and amid these other invisibles, ask yourself, why is it they've gone ahead to bring out a defender? I think there are training sessions that Mikel Ateta wanted Sol Campbell to take part into this because the mentality of defending at Arsenal looks like capitulating and Ateta needed someone else to do a boost up at the club of Arsenal. So <clears throat> we all know that even Sol Campbell is a coach and um, I think there is a, a certain championship team that Sol Campbell is really coaching or managing. So with the experience he has in the Premier League and in this final bend of seven games left, left to end the season that can really gift that can really gift Arsenal the trophy, he was useful because he has the respect. <clears throat> when he talks to these players, they listen to him. And I think he acts as a booster 
to <clears throat> their next game they're going to play against Southampton and uh, Man City. Why? Edu was in the dressing room with Saul Campbell. He knows his impact in the dressing room, meaning that he picked him out, <clears throat> called him at London Conley, not only to take pictures, but to have some talking sessions with the players of Arsenal to know how to defend better. <clears throat> I think it's all about defending better as a team, not to concede goals, because if Arsenal were defending better, they would have found themselves Mm, how many points? Mm, seven, nine. Nine points ahead of City. That's it. So, as it stands, it was a very good visit at London Conley. I think he comes in through and obviously gives this as these Arsenal players a second gear of operation, second thoughts, fresh minds, fresh vibes, mentality, <coughs> mentality just gotten refreshed to get ready for the games coming in through because it's all about the brain these games of football it's all about the brain you know <clears throat> the physicality does its part but i think the brain does a lot of part in the field of play because when the brain breaks down even if you you are running like a headless chicken on the field of play no reason for you to survive from a team whose mentality is way up better than yours so looks like he was here to really do some mental lessons with Arsenal and obviously teach them on how to defend better as a team of Arsenal so I think that's why Sol Campbell really paid a visit at the London Conley and uh, that's why my mind is telling me that he paid a visit to London Conley for that that's why he was there and he really got a very convincing welcome and he got the players of Arsenal ready for the team of Southampton and Man City because he was the invisible and he needs to take them through of how they went through those drills. Then, <clears throat> Martin Odega, the captain of Arsenal, has been hailed by Roberti Perez. Robert Perez was the shirt, seven of, the shirt seven of Arsenal for a very long time. I think Arsene Wenger got him from Marseille and he was really a very brilliant, brilliant, brilliant player that <clears throat> he was good on the eye. He could get Arsenal fans on the edge of their seats, you know that very well. And he has gone ahead and said the following, this season Martin Odegaard has developed excellently. He also gained <clears throat> in consistency. His body rarely lets him down. He seems to be in the great shape and hungry for wins. It's great to see <clears throat> such a talented footballer reach his full potential. Martin is taking on more and more responsibility on the team. He's a great, he's a great path and Arsenal is a perfect place for him. Talking of Arsenal being a perfect place for him, we all know that because he suffered a lot while he was at Real Madrid. They signed him at the age of 16 and loaned him to your social dad. Things never worked out. Not until he got a loan spell at Arsenal in the January transfer window of 2021 and then they signed him permanently in the summer of 2021 from Real Madrid at close to 30 million pounds. But he's unbelievable. I think right now, Madrid are regretting as to why they never went ahead to put in a buyback clause when they are selling him to Arsenal. I think they thought that he couldn't rise back to the occasion, but he's back. <clears throat> Martin Odegaard is one of those players that you'll want to be having in your team like Arsenal. Even may support Manchester United on any day, I would love to be having Martin Odegaard because of how he commands play and dictates play and gives <clears throat> a lot of final third options to the players of Arsenal and uh, he has goals on him, assists on him, he's unstoppable and you wouldn't like to miss out on him. But saying that he's a great path and Arsenal is a perfect place for him, that is no doubt, it's no brain that's been proven on several occasions. Even, uh, Mikel, even Martin Odegaard himself just came out and said that he has never felt at home like he is at Arsenal. You know? Then, his body not letting him down, no injuries, and I think this season, he's among the Arsenal players that are going to have to travel all cover a lot of distance on the field of play. So that really keeps him into that orbit of being the best player at Arsenal on, <clears throat> on merit. Then, reaching his full potential at Arsenal, I believe he's just getting there. <clears throat> he's just getting there because Arsenal has not gotten to that level of really getting the best out of Martin Odegaard. Odegaard will get the best out of him when he has a lot of quality players around him that can really do <clears throat> the same things he does with the football pitch, like having the same technical, how do they call it, having the same 
having the same uh, technical ability <coughs> on the field of play, then football intelligence, you know, that's why you see to it that when he's playing with the likes of Martinelli and Jesus and Trossard, he enjoys it because they are almost on the same wavelength as far as that is concerned. So, let's wait and see how Odegaard continues to re go ahead and relift up his team of Arsenal. Remember, he went ahead to score his 11th goal of the season when he scored against West Ham. That was the second goal. And he has close to, are they six assists or seven assists this season? He's not a joke and he's continuing to do his job at Arsenal very well. So guys, your thoughts on Zichenko returning for the Saints tie are welcome in the comment section below. Sol Campbell paying a visit to Arsenal players at Conley. Why do you think he went there? I've given you my reasons. Do you agree with me? Yes or no? And lastly, Robert Perez hailing Odegaard as one of those players are going to hate to really reach their potential at Arsenal. I sign out for now. See you later. I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. May the living true God just protect you throughout the night and give you the best that you guys deserve and yearn for in your hearts are really positive. Then, my Muslim friends, Ramadan Karim, because you guys are really great and you are left with just days to put this holy month of Ramadan to bed. Not so? So, I sign out for now. See you later. And may the Almighty Lord bless you abundantly. Not so, because you guys deserve it. Rock and David is my name. Subscribe to this channel. I'm out. Don't do what you wouldn't like yourself to do.